that's so cute. We can just say that Sneezy's deaf and maybe like partially oh. deaf. Maybe that's why she was such a, a crazy baby because she couldn't understand what was happening around her and she couldn't hear mama. That would make so much sense. Oh, I feel kind of bad now that I was so mean to Sneezy. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sims 4 Disney Princess Challenge. So today we have a crap ton of birthdays to get through, including this little Sneezy here who apparently doesn't like that we're making her a cake. Get over it. Um, we're making a little matcha cake. I thought that would be cute because it's like a cute little green color. I swear to God, if one of you little heathens touch this cake, I swear I will scream. Nobody touch it. Nope. Yay, happy birthday! Okay, so as far as birthdays, let's see where we're at. So Happy's off to school. So today's Sneezy's birthday, as you guys can see. Um, Bashful still has another three days, so that makes sense. It is also Doc and Dopey's birthday today as well. Can I just say, can we, having four infants last night was rough. Like, I know that every video I say it's rough. No, no, I mean last night was rough. Um, I do not recommend having four infants at the same time. Poor girl. It, I couldn't even get her to bed until like 2 a.m. It was a struggle, but we got through it and we're aging some of them up into toddlers. So there'll be less of a menace in my life. But first off, let's age up our Sneezy since she's like right here. Um, Sneezy, we're aging you up, kiddo. And then you can leave me alone. Um, ha poor Happy. I've been using Happy to clean, like, behind the kids. I feel really bad about that, but it's just too much for me to do by myself, so, yeah. Um, also, the twins aged up, and I'll show you guys what they look like when they wake up. You did it! Happy birthday! I swear to God, if you're coming for this cake, my sweetheart. Awesome! So, Sneezy got a couple of different skills here, which is really great, and Sneezy's gonna be a glutton. Okay, I mean, every kid needs a negative trait, so there it is, I guess. You can have that one, sure. I'm going to add some more candles onto this. Um, do I wake them up? I mean, they're not that tired. I probably should be a good mother and wait until they wake up because someone is over here screaming. Oh, you're screaming because you're tired. Then go. Oh, you're kind of gross, too. Hold, please. Let's uh, get you changed. Hold on, my sweet little angel boo. Change diaper for you. Um, and then once everybody's aged up, we'll go in with makeovers and things. Oh, she has a hearing aid. Stop. That's really cute. Wait, I want her to keep that. I've never used the hearing aids before. Oh, that's so cute. We can just say that Sneezy's deaf and maybe like partially deaf because she was maybe that's why she was such a, a crazy baby because she couldn't understand what was happening around her and she couldn't hear mama. That would make so much sense. Oh, I feel kind of bad now that I was so mean to Sneezy. <laughs> I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. It's because you're deaf. I'm so sorry. Well, now we know, and now you're going to have proper care, so it's okay. I like the glasses, too. Oh, I love that for you. Yes, we're keeping that. All right, little Mew. Let's get you all cleaned. Oh, so I changed up the rooms. I um, added a bedroom in here for Happy, and we'll use that for the kids as well. And then I moved the infants over here because we no longer have any newborns, which is just so good. Um, after we are done with the infants. I'm gonna make these into just more areas for the kids to have act like playtime and activities and things. They don't have a lot of toys right now, which kind of sucks. We'll get there eventually, but um, I just don't have the space for it really. So once we're done with infants, I'll be able to get the kids a lot more to do. How are you doing otherwise, sweetheart? So this is Grumpy. This is what she looks like. She's pretty cute. I like her hair color and her eye color is amazing. And then Sleepy is over here to be expected. Sleeping. I love this hair. It's so cute. Yeah, he's pretty cute. But that's what those two look like. I just aged them up off camera because there's not much that happens when the newborns age up into infants. So I wanted to wait until today when we had more kind of going on. Honka. How you doing, sweetheart? Yeah, we're just kind of waiting for the other two to wake up from their little nappies. Little Doc just woke up, so I guess we can go ahead and get you aged up, little one. Let's do this. And then I feel like Dopey should be waking up soon. But it's time to age you up, cutie pie. 
Happy birthday! Mama, age him up. She's just like, let me just give one last snuggle of us, a little infant. There we go! Yay, Doc has aged up. And I think you also got, uh, yep, top notch. I think most of them got top notch infant, which I am shocked about. But yes, yes. Oh, angelic. Oh, thank you, game. Oh, I love these little overalls. Those are cute. You aged up. Cutie pie. Thank God. One less, one less infant, my lord. Um, you should be waking up soon, sweetie. Oh, Wander? I've not seen this quirk before. Doc seems to always be running away. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, toddlers who are wanderers are quick to run away from after they're put down. Okay. Um, sure. All right, Dopey, you are awake now. Let's get you aged up. Yeah, you can like affection. Sure. Baby care, age you up. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Two infants, guys. We have two left. And I can change this room. I might just break down this wall and add it to the toddler room. You also got the top-notch infant, and you were sensitive. So you were going to get independent. Okay. That's totally fine. I'm good with that. And Philip has sent a gift. Yay, welcome. Happy birthday. Welcome to the world of fending for yourself. Awesome. That was a lot of birthdays. Oh, look at these two cutie pies. Oh, I love that. I see your outfit is adorable. Um, so I guess we should hop into Cass and start giving some makeovers because we have three makeovers to do. And then when it comes to the other part of Snow White's um, like requirements for her generation, it says that every kid has to have a negative trait, which we will work on. And they all need to finish something, whether that be a skill or an aspiration or an A in school. I'm probably just going to have all of them get an A in school because working on individual skills and aspirations is going to be a lot. So I think that is probably what I'll do instead of like everyone having their own, you know, um, I definitely want to keep this. I want to change the color so it stands out a little bit more. There you go, sweetie. Um, and then you want some glasses. I mean, these are kind of cute. We can stick with those. I'm going to keep the pom-pom hair because I think it's adorable. For your sleepy sleep outfit, we'll do that. And then for every day, let me give you your glasses and your hearing aid back. Uh, which, was it this one? I think it was this one. Yeah, okay. And then glasses were the black ones or like the round. Oh, well, we could do these like funky ones. I, I kind of like the round ones on her. Okay, cool. I'm good with this outfit. Actually, I'm not I'm not mad at that at all. So sure, yeah, you can keep that. Um, we'll do an athletic wear just in case. This is probably fine. You can have that and I'll give you a little hearing aid, but I won't do glasses for this one just in case she like breaks them. And then hot weather. Get your hearing aid and your glasses. Oh my God. Every time I see this image, I think of like Justin Bieber back in the day. I was a very big Justin Bieber fan. I think Justin Bieber was the first concert I ever went to. I was a huge fan. Um, I still really like him, but every time I see that, I think of Justin Bieber. So this is what she looks like. I think Sneezy's actually adorable. I like her a lot. All right, next up we have Doc, I believe. Yeah, okay. I, I do really like these little overalls. They're pretty cute. Um, for your shoes, maybe we'll just do these. <gasps> the socks! I'm keeping those, that's cute. And you can keep the pacifier, that's fine. And for hair, maybe we'll give them like crazy hair. Yeah, I like that. Um, I do wanna change the color of the pacifier. Maybe we'll do... Like a little more, oh, mm, or do I want black? Uh, maybe that one, that's fine. He's really cute. <laughs> uh, sleepwear, I don't know what is happening here. Um, you can have the blue shirt and we'll just do a diaper. We'll take the little shoes off and then hot weather. Oh my Lord, those glasses are, um, there's something that's for sure. You want the little avocado shirt? That's fine. And maybe these. And the little socks are cute, actually. Maybe I'll just change the color of them. 
Maybe like a bluey color. Yeah, that's cute. You are so cute. <laughs> and then last up, we have Dopey. <laughs> okay, you don't need those glasses. You're cute too. Okay, all of her kids are cute, I must say. They are all pretty adorable. Uh, you can have this funky colorful outfit. That's fine. Every day. Oh, I gotta change your hair back. I think it was this one. Ooh, I like that top actually. Maybe we'll just change the bottoms to some jeans and shoesies. Um, I need to get more custom shoes for these little guys. I don't have that many. That's probably fine. And then your hot weather outfit. Maybe we'll do a full body for you. Uh, maybe one of these. There you go. And some blue little sneakers. There we are. So that is everybody made over. I think everyone is... All, they're all just so cute. <laughs> I'm sure I've said so cute so many times, but to be fair, they are just so cute. Um, I am probably going to um, post the poll in the next video. That way we have a little bit of time with the newer girl that aged up. So that you guys can see her personality a little bit better, especially as an infant. And then we'll start kind of pinpointing who we want to be our Cinderella. We have, I think, four girls to pick from. I still think my vote is probably Happy or Sneezy, but if you guys want it to be like Grumpy, for instance, totally fine. We'll um, just have to wait until she ages up, which will give us more time. And then as far as Snow White's things, um, she's guarding level nine. I think I just got her to level nine. Yep, so we're level nine, so we're super close to finishing off her required trait. For her aspiration, I need to evolve a couple more plants, and we need to actually start growing our cow plants. Let's do that. Let's grow our cow plant. I have not started that yet. Um, and achieve level 10 of gardening, which we're super close to doing. I don't think I have any more plants to evolve. Not yet. Oh, apparently uh, Bashful hates being... Why did you bring her out here? <laughs> she hates being carried. Let me put her next to this cow plant. Oh my God. Wait, can my children be eaten by the cow plant? I don't think so, right? Uh, I guess we'll find out. So that is in the works. Let's get you watered. And then for her job, she is level seven. She should be getting promoted soon, I hope. Because um, I've been having her work from home. And she'll be level eight of that, which is super exciting. Do you guys need anything? I think otherwise, I might make her garden a little bit bigger. The hard part about summer is that there's less summer plants that are available to grow a lot of them are like spring and fall so the summer it's a little harder for us to build up her skill but it's okay who how i'm sorry how did they take the cake if there's candles on it what <laughs> there's just floating candles um wait and see i didn't actually read it but um here let's go and make some food for everybody let's serve um Maybe a caprese salad. Try to be somewhat healthy. <laughs> Have all these kids. Oh, Doc loves sounds. Everyone's just like exploring who they are and figuring out who they are, which is really stinking cute. Everyone is starting to wind down, get their food. Happy is back home from school. She's feeling super tense from having a stressful school day. Poor girl. Um, for her stuff, she is still a C student. It's only her second day of going to school, so I'm not expecting it to be too crazy but we do need to let me see she has 12 days until she ages up so hopefully everyone should be aged up by the time like everyone should be like i think children before well actually the infants probably won't be but they should be pretty close to children by the time she ages up and then we'll continue on with whoever our little cinderella is going to be but i think this is a good place to wrap things up it's definitely probably the least stressful video i've had of this series so far but it's really nice that we're starting to get to like the peak of everything but yeah i'm gonna wrap it up here hope you all enjoyed if you did please give it a huge thumbs up leave all your comments and suggestions down below also if you're new please don't forget to subscribe and i will speak with you all next time bye guys